Good morning, class. Take out your hands, please. Okay. Now, good morning, class. How are you, buddy? How are you, Roger? How are you? Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now, today we're going to talk about the ecology. Why we're going to talk about this? Because in the actually, it's a topic that is very the most important things in our activities. Because we need to in the in nowadays. The people, for the people, doesn't matter the quality. Like this person that is here, he's smoking into the class. So we have to take care of the of this of this thing because the planet, all the world, it's based on the on the quality. So for first, I'm gonna start asking you, Roger, what do you think there is ecology? I don't know. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Don't worry. I'm gonna explain to you. Ah, uh, Eric. What do you think that it's ecology? Well, I don't know, but I just want to learn. Okay, so, and my friend here. Hey. <laughs> he don't want to know, I think. So, for a start, ecology. What is ecology? Ecology is the study of the environmental systems. It's the natural interaction between the people and the natural things. Uh, for say to something, it's when we are in a yard or in a in the park, the, when you are in the park, in the middle of the park, the interaction that you, that you have with the animals, with other people, with the living and the non-living things, uh, you, in, in this case, you are in interaction with your environment, and this is ecology. So, I don't know if you know what is the living and the non-living things. Do you know, Roger? No. Okay. So the living things are all the things that have life, like the word say, for example, he is a living thing because he has life, he can move, he has, a, he has a mind and he can think. So, well in this case, I can say to anything but, okay, and the non-living things are the things that don't have life. For example, in a wood are the rocks, are the plants, are the sun. The things that, for the biology, have life because have atoms, molecules, but for all of, all of us, don't have, don't have life because a rock can move and talk to you. The rock can do this. Okay, so you understand that it's alive and all that things. Okay, so continue with the topic that I said to you before. The most important thing in the ecology are the environment. The environment and interaction between the human and uh, and the natural things. For example, I'm gonna show you in these two circles. In this circle are gonna be all the humans of all of us, our activities, our constructions, and uh, all the things that we do. And in this other side are the nature. In the nature are the woods. The under the environment offer to us for the life. So when the planet starts in the world, all our woods, plants, and when the human starts living and start a civilization, the, the human start to destroy the nature. And in the, in nowadays we can see this because you are gonna be an engineer in three or four years, and when you do get your grade, you're gonna start to make money, make your own enterprises and I think that you're gonna build uh, houses and buildings and all of that if you need uh, only the money, you wanna destroy the environment because you wanna destroy the woods, the grass and all the environment for get built your business and all your needs for it. and for this we have to have an equilibrium into the humans and into the natural. We have to put the ecology here. In the types of ecology are four or four branches that the scientists are divided in. That are the ecology ecosystems, the community e ecology, the population ecology, and the physiological ecology. So in this time, Jamming is gonna explain to you why ah, continue with that comes the pollution 
uh, for the pollution, then we need experts of that and she going to tell you what is pollution. So, we're going to talk about the pollution. The first thing that we have to know is what is pollution and how this affects us, like people and all the living things. So, Eric, we're going to help us with this. What do you think about pollution? Well, I just think the pollution is very bad and it's a thing. Um, affects every people, affects animals, children, so it's very bad. Okay, thank you, Eddie. So, like he is telling us, this affects all kinds of living things, like plants, animals, persons, and this is uh, around us and affects in six different uh, ways. This affects in the air, in the water, in the soil, and the high uh, volume is to a, a kind of pollution. The radioactive is a very dangerous kind of pollution and is relatively present. And the water cycle and pollution is because the water, in, when it's rain, this fall and the soil is contaminated. So the cycle of the water continues with this uh, theory water. Okay, teacher, I have a question. If, for example, a people with the cycle of the water, if someone or some people make their necessities in the water or drop soil or a uh, chemical reaction in the water, when this cycle continues, the rain is going to be something like acid or something like that? Yes, of course, because you remember that this uh, component, component is mixed with the water and so when this evaporate and go to the clouds again and rainfall this is this is a cycle that it don't have an end oh thanks teacher so I think that in the next side of this video, we're gonna show you examples of the air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution, noise pollution, radioactivity pollution, and the water cycle pollution. So keep in your seats and let's see this. Water pollution. There are many ways to contaminate our planet here and one of the them is polluting the water. This are reality is the world of the cities where the population is playing its domestic, industrial, waste and all kind of trash, causing water pollution. Generally caused by humans which make it proper or dangerous for humans. Consumes, industry, agriculture and fisheries as well as for animals and wildlife. While water pollution can come from natural sources, for example, hash from a volcano. Most of the current pollution comes from humans' activities. So we are looking for the air contamination. So here's the first person. This is a clear example that the air pollution. This smoke is very dangerous for our environment and for all the people that is around here because this smoke is mixed with the air that we breathe. So other kinds of contamination in the air. Uh, we can mention the aerosol or the forest fires. That is a other kind of air pollution. <laughs> so, he is a person that is contaminates the earth and the water. So, I'm gonna take over here because he's gonna hit me. So, hello, Kelly. Hello. I look at you, you find a water contamination, I think. Yes, we have a sample that the water contamination. So, we can see some uh, trash that is uh, in the soil. This can be a, a kind of uh, contamination in the soil, too. 
and all these trash and things it's going to uh, the contaminate the water, water. Right? yes because just imagine that it, this is a river so this is uh, this go for the sea so the water is contaminated the rivers in the lake and the ocean and this is very dangerous for the life in these uh, habitats because uh, uh, fishes and other kind of life are in this environment so it's very toxic for life and i think that too with the pollution of the water are all the toxic that we drop in the water that the industry drop in the water for not uh, drop their his our manage or his residues of the products and for example when you see after that person that it's making his necessities in a tree uh, you think that it's gonna be good for the tree but for the environment and the water that is here in the in this i don't know I change my oil right my friend Okay, so in this case when the people change the oil of the motorcycles, other people have the costume of drop the oil in the sand, in the ground or in the yard because the people think that the oil don't the oil don't damage the yard, but there is a lie because this is that you can see here the oil of the motorcycles can't damage this. Um, another example that image the, the soil are the for example the oils, the, the gas, the, the gas of the motorcycles, and all of the chemicals that are dropped on the on the floor. Uh, and you look, are you here uh, in the sound, or uh, we have uh, some contamination that we're gonna see right now. Okay, so now I'm Okay, so if you want to wear want a word like this, clean, critically environmental, without the uh, pollution, and if you want to live a very long life, you should do like us. Follow these simple things that you should do. Please don't drop trash in the water or in the soil, and take care of nature. Okay, so don't Thank you. Make exercise and avoid use electric energy. Be smart, physical, and live in an environment like this. Okay, so you hear my friend in your hands are to start the cycle and stop the contamination, the pollution, and all the things that are it's that are pulling the end of the world. Thank you, my friend.